So today, guys, in the beginning of this video, we're going to revisit some USEC Stash customs building areas, as well as I'm going to show you from the warehouses where you can kind of get some cheeky angles to kill people from. Hopefully, you can add these to your toolbox, and hopefully, this will allow you to kill some people that, you know, would normally not be expecting you to be there. You know, those kind of moments where you're like, where the hell did they shoot me from kind of moments. And these are some of those positions. Uh, you're going to see me utilize at least one of those. As I'm like, what the heck is that? That's a dead body, but there's more, right? So hopefully you guys can enjoy this. Uh, do keep in mind, guys, every time you move in game, there's a chance someone can hear you. Uh, inexperienced players, once their friends die, especially if their friends out in the open, will move immediately, right? They won't think about where did my friend just get shot from? If, if your friend just got shot, he has no idea where he got shot from wait in place for a second and listen for movement and then move on that movement. Don't be the guy that moves first. When this guy here, me has no idea you're there because then I'm going to use that against you. Just like any experienced player is going to use those things against you. So keep that in mind. Every time you move, it makes noise. And if you think they don't know where you are, the person that kills your friend, do not move. Try to gather intel before you make a move. Uh, an experienced player is also going to check areas they're going to be covering the dead body. I'm not going to just go loot the body. That's what new players do, right? Uh, so if you want to get better at Tarkov, clear through, don't loot immediately, and don't be the first one to give away your position, especially in this situation. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, much love, boys. We'll see you in raid. We're hearing snipers still out. It sounds like by checkpoint slash uh, that little overwatch area for the gas station, new gas station. A little uh, fun fact, if you guys didn't know, you can shoot people from up there from here. This is the most common area that people will be camping. And no one will ever see you in here shooting from, you know, from this location. There's no fucking way. I mean, it would take a miracle. And that's about 150, 200. I was like, metal. I've never heard that before. But the metal was right there. It's about 150 to 200 yards, somewhere in between there. These guys are still going ham on the, uh... You hear that? We got, a uh, silenced. Probably shotgun. What was it that was on the floor over here? Something lit up. There it is. All right, we're going to show you guys another cool spot if you don't already know it. I thought I saw something right there. So we heard gunshots out this way, right? There's a dead body right there. I heard uh, gravel. So someone's over there. He probably didn't see us, so he has no idea where to call out. Let me show you guys the jump spot. Real quick. They're going to be along this wall if they're anywhere. Someone used this window up here. They're heading up. Probably to use this window. You hear the running to my right? 
This is, uh, if you guys aren't familiar, I made a customs video on this. Very, very easy to predict as long as you know what's going on. We're going to clear this way, make sure our, our rear is se uh, secure. This is what we're going to be worried about next, though. All right, we're not worried about... Let's drop this real quick. Remember, we heard movement. Someone ran through. We are cracking windows so that we can go in and out of them if we need to. So that one's the one we jump in, and then this gives us two different outs if we need to get out. Predictable boys. <laughs> nice. What do you think about that, Michael? Easy. So we heard him run off. And because there's a window already smashed up there, that means that there's most likely someone there, correct? So those are uh, things you guys should always pay attention to. Now, the question is, is there another one, right? There has to be another one. Hell yeah, dudes. Max strength. So the reason we drop the backpack and the gun here is if we end up getting killed by someone, we don't want them to get this loot. So we're going to clear through. You hear some movement to our left. Maybe two. Do we gotta loot this body or do we move on? Yeah, running out to the right. So after we reload, we take a momentary pause to listen for any follow-up movement. That is to ensure that we don't end up getting killed by someone on the other side, or even behind us or nearby in general. Practice doing this, guys. It'll save you more than you think. Thought I heard someone else. Ooh, jeez, this is why you're here, Mike. This is why you are here, to correct me when I'm doing wrong. All right, we may drop that, right? Or here's what we could do. 
Take that. Search this. Wait. Search this. The Vulcan's worth a shit ton too. Alright. This will repair it's 50. So this will go like to 50, 51. So we'll drop this. Take that. Search this. So now we should be able to get multiple helmets out plus the armor that we had question or had in question. Drop that. I'm gonna drop that too, it doesn't matter. The CTR we're gonna take no matter what though. And I don't even know. It's all trash. Take that. Looks like we're good. Perfect. All right. GG's, boys. GG. So, where that guy was going to was very smart. Um, The second one, that is. This guy right here. Rat with a toolie. Uh, where he was going was he was going to use one of those windows to shoot us while we went to go loot that body. The only problem is, guys, is we heard him make noise on gravel, right? If he wouldn't have moved, if we wouldn't have heard the gravel noise, I wouldn't have known there was a second one there. You know what I mean? So, for future reference, be careful where you're stepping. Right, right? All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you didn't already know, I do stream on Twitch daily. And uh, if you guys have questions and you want to ask me something, or if you want me to show you something, I can possibly go show you stuff. Uh, we also have the ability for people to redeem channel points to have me run the PPSH, you know, the SR-25, and multiple other guns, P90s. And you can pick one of three maps that I enjoy playing, uh, which is Shoreline, Reserve, and Customs. All fun maps, for me at least. I do not play labs, and I don't play factory unless I'm really bored. Um, with that being said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful evening, and we will see you next time.